Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Causey here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to go to black-cat-comics.com and pick up something fun to read, because that's what comics are, they're fun to read. And this week is packed with stuff that's fun to read. Gotta start with the Marvel guys this week, because this is the first big Marvel week we've had in a long time. And, uh, you know, I'm a big Marvel guy. Great to see them uh, getting back in action. This is Empire number one. This is the new big uh, Marvel event, the new big intergalactic everybody versus everybody kind of thing. You love the big Marvel events like I do. Uh, there's been a couple of prequels, but you can just grab this one and jump right in. There's that guy. There's Fantastic Four number 21. Some of my favorite, favorite books of all time to talk about this week, like this one. I'm a huge FF fan, always have been. You know that cover flashes back to uh, the new Fantastic Four from many moons ago. Uh, pick up Empire Fantastic Four number zero, then grab this one if you're not already following FF, and if you're not, you should be, like Avengers number 34, part two of uh, The Age of Khonshu. Again, I'm a huge, huge Avengers fan, always have been. You're probably a big Moon Knight fan. You're going to want to grab the previous issue to this one, and then this one, dive right in. Great, great time to be an Avengers fan. Great lineup. Jason Aaron's just doing a kick-butt job on this book. Can't say enough about the Avengers. Amazing Spider-Man, the biggest, most classic title from Marvel. Good to see that one coming back to a regular shipping schedule. Like I say, just all the Marvel fans are going to be happy this week. Spider-Woman and Venom. Your other Spider-esque books, a couple of really hot titles. That Spider-Woman, number one, totally sold out. Venom 25, totally sold out. All the Spider books are burning up these days. Captain Marvel teaming up with Wolverine this week. Everybody loves any Wolverine team up. And speaking of Wolverine, I Wolverine 2020. It's your latest 2020 book. Sort of a uh, mini event rolling out from Marvel. Giant size X-Men with Magneto there on the cover. Doesn't get any cooler, doesn't get any more X-Men than a giant size Magneto book. Guardians of the Galaxy and Strike Force round out your Marvel proper, but Conan, Battle for the Serpent Crown, has Conan taken on Black Panther. Now that's a matchup everybody wants to see. Great, great week for the Marvel guys. Like I say, good to see them back in action. Pretty small week for DC, but everybody's waiting on this one. This is Dark Knight Death Metal number two. This is probably in your sub box already, but uh, it doesn't need a whole lot of help from me. But if for some reason number one got by you, or if the first series got by you, pick up that trade paperback for Dark Knight Metal. Pick up uh, Death Metal number one and this week's number two. Cool foily cover. It's also a art germ cover and a couple other cool ones. Nightwing is your Joker War book of the week. There he is taking on Punchline. Everybody loving Punchline these days. I'm a huge Nightwing fan. Really been enjoying this title. Always enjoyed Nightwing. It's a great book. Great stories. Great art. And that's my phone. Probably a spam caller. Justice League 49. Been talking up Justice League. Everybody should have Justice League on their book. All the biggest heroes. All the biggest villains. Loving, loving some Justice League these days. Teen Titans. The mini Justice Leaguers. With Damien taking on the KG Beast right there. That's pretty cool. Aquaman. Another one of the best titles DC does. If Aquaman is not on your list, you're really missing out on a great, great comic. Like I always say, great stories, great art. There's Mira right there on the cover. Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, number 12 of 12. This is your last issue of Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, which makes me sad. Matt Fraction, if you're watching this, please do a sequel to this title because it's been awesome. DC, you should really just change this into an ongoing. Really one of the most fun uh, books that has been out there in a long, long time. Strange Adventures. Everybody loving the uh, Tom King take on uh, Mystery in Space. Some Adam Strange action. You love Mr. Miracle. Now check out Strange Adventures. Good stuff there. And Daphne Byrne is your Hill House book of the week. For all you fans of the creepy crawly coolness. Great week for the other guys too. Moonshine is your image book of the week. 
Image doing all kinds of things uh, other than the superhero stuff. If you're looking for something uh, non-cape, you should uh, go to imagecomics.com and look through their dozens and dozens of awesome books. Transformers 84, it's a huge week for IDW. Take a minute and absorb uh, all of the great things that IDW does. Like Transformers, that's a new Transformers book. Like Snake Eyes Dead Game, spin-off from the uh, awesome G.I. Joe books that they do. TMNT, number 108. Great, great time to be a Turtles fan. Uh, if you are a Turtles fan and you've been away for a while, pick up number 100, catch up to this week's 108. Some of the uh, best turtle books that they've done in a long time. And Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. Uh, like I say, that's just some of the best stuff that IDW does. They're some of the masters of uh, licensed product franchise comics like Star Trek and the Turtles and G.I. Joe and Transformers. Great, great stuff from the IDW guys. Vampirella. Is one of your many dynamite books, and that's one that I talk up a lot, a lot of the time, like Red Sonia, Age of Chaos. But what's even cooler is when you put them together, Red Sonia and Vampirella teaming up with Betty and Veronica, then talking about what a great age of mashups we live in, uh, publishers teaming up, franchises teaming up, and uh, in my book, you can team up Betty and Veronica with just about anybody you want to, and it's going to make for a great comic. This one is uh, wrapping up. I think 12 will be the last one. So if for some reason you don't believe me, pick up number one and it will make you want to read the uh, ensuing 11 issues. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is your Boom Studios book of the week. Rick and Morty go to HE Double Hockey Sticks is your Oni Press book of the week. And Dark Crystal Age of Resistance is your Archaea book of the week because I love me anything that says Jim Henson on it. Disney Comics and Stories is one of your all-ages books of the week. I love seeing the Disney stuff in print. Always, always a good time to uh, be a fan of Disney comics, especially since we can't go to the park. And Star Wars Adventures is, uh, again, your uh, mashup of IDW and Marvel Comics. Marvel's doing, uh, letting IDW do their lines of all-ages stuff, and I love Star Wars Adventures been a whole lot of fun. Love seeing uh, Star Wars comics in the all-ages format. A lot of other things to talk about this week. It is Free Comic Book Summer. Every uh, week we get new books for Free Comic Book Day. This is one everybody is excited about this year. This is your X-Men number one for Free Comic Book Day. There's three others this week. Power Rangers, because everybody loves the Power Rangers. My Little Pony, because everybody loves My Little Pony. And Asterix. If you don't know much about Asterix, make sure uh, that you pick up this freebie, because it's tons of fun and one of the classic, classic uh, icons of comics. If you have a uh, curbside pickup, or if your comics are getting shipped out, your free comics are already in your package. If you uh, don't have a pickup uh, and you're not buying anything uh, this week, then book a curbside pickup for Sunday. Sunday is our free comic book day curbside pickup. Book your thing for Sunday and uh, we'll have all the free stuff in your box waiting for you. Do not miss out on the free comic book day books because they're always tons of fun. Also, this week is the world-famous Black Hat Comics Rock and Milpitas pre-Comic-Con Comic-Con. Uh, one of our favorite, favorite things to do, uh, even though, you know, we're all in lockdown and the world's so crazy, we're doing everything we can to uh, bring you tons and tons of fun. And this year, uh, we're keeping it rolling with the Black Hat Comics Rock and Milpitas pre-Comic-Con Comic-Con. Today is VIP day. We always open up the show with, uh, with a thank you to our subscribers. So subscribers, check your email. Uh, your You'll find a code for 20% uh, off anything on the site, so go ahead and uh, take uh, advantage of that. Tomorrow uh, will be the inaugural episode of Black Hat Classics, uh, where I'm going to tell you all about some great, awesome books uh, that you don't see on the site, that you haven't seen on the wall before. Uh, we're going to talk and sell some old comics, so uh, tune in tomorrow and check that out. Uh, Friday is an art class from Emonic, so uh, whoever you are, wherever you are on the uh, scale of artistry, uh, tune in and take some art classes from uh, one of the best uh, local artists you're ever going to see anywhere. And we've got all kinds of events all week long, so check the newsletter this week, check the calendar, uh, check out all the events for Black Hat Comics, Rock and Milpitas, Free Comic Con, Comic Con, because nothing's more fun than the Black Hat Comics, Rock and Milpitas, Free Comic Con, Comic Con. 
That's all we got for you for this week. Uh, make sure you tune in Saturday as we talk about all the great stuff. Tune in Sunday for Matchbox versus Hot Wheels. And like I say, check the calendar for all our cool events this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.